find out about your friends. That's awesome. So well, you don't have to look. You can look at the camera. You can look around. It's my name's uh, Harry Olson, and I was uh, I got drafted. I was 18 on the 27th of June, and I got, so therefore, if you were 18 by uh, 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 before uh, July first, uh, I, I got in the first teenage draft. At, at, 18. At eight. Well, eight, I was 18. And what year was that? In 1942, uh, uh, in 43, so I was drafted on July on February 3rd of uh, 1943. Uh, uh, okay. That's when I got drafted. All right. And um, the, where did you go? Train. Went, I, I went to uh, um, um, New Cumberland, uh, and then I, I went in, in, into the. Um, Tank outfit. I was in the in, uh, through Fort Knox, Kentucky. I went through basic of Fort Knox, Kentucky. Right. Uh, then went to Armor Force School for tanks at Fort Knox. And from, uh, after I graduated from school, I went down and I was uh, in a, uh, a tank outfit, a combat command, which was right under the the colonels, the, the uh, uh, and. Uh, do you remember the colonel's name? Who was the boss at the time? No, I don't remember them. I know De Sousa was our officer. He was from uh, officer of our, our, our uh, company. We were in a combat command, and um, uh, so as I, I was maintaining three tanks. Lots of times, I would. Uh, that was the M, uh, the light tanks. The old M3, the original ones you just seen, right? Uh, where the, the, uh, the communication was where the, the you kicked the, the, the drivers with your foot. Good. Yeah. And then uh, I transferred into the Air Force. Oh, you first went in the Army, then right to the Air Force. Well, was it Marine? was the Army Air Force. I right. wasn't in the, the the as we know it today, the Air Force. I was in the Army Air Force. Right. And. Um, Took training at Davis Monthan Air Force Base in, in Arizona, and uh, then uh, we went overseas. Uh, that was on B-24s. When I got up, and we went overseas on the USS Wakefield, which had been the former uh, liner in Manhattan, and uh, all all the way over, we were ribbing the devil out of this B-17 crew because B-24s were much faster than a 17. Uh, when we got on the train to go to the base, we got off the base and the same crew that we were ribbing all the time about being so slow and we'd have to shut down an engine to be able to keep up so we slowed down enough to keep uh, be able to still fly with them. And they're on the same uh, train with us. We're going to the same base and we're thinking, well, boy, what kind of help is this? It's got C uh, B-17s and B-24s. Well, when we got off the base, we found out there weren't any B-24s there. We were a B-17 crew. Right. So is that so, when you learned, when did you get started training and you get into the bubble? Is that way huh? after that? You, you spoke about the bubble. You were in the bubble with the guns at the, well, at the I, very end I of the war. Well, I flew most a tail, but then our crew broke up. Our pilot went to what they referred to as a lead team. Uh, he would be, uh, he, he became a captain and he would fly with different things so the, our crew broke up and we were I was flying with anybody. We actually referred to ourselves as the flying bastards. We'd fill in for a crew and uh, so I ended up flying a ball that's down the thing that hang, uh, the gun turret that hangs off the bottom of the ship. So what was it made out of? Fiberglass? Glass? No, what are you it, it was the most, uh, it, it had two inches. Uh, glass in front of you, which was probably about uh, oh, 20, 24 inches of diameter, and it was two inches thick. It was bulletproof. You could shoot, shoot a fifty-five uh, caliber machine gun at it. So did you get hit? Did I, you ever get no, hit by I, any of the bullets? I was I was in the, in, in the most uh, uh, armored uh, gun position in the whole aircraft, and you hang down. It was like uh, well, we used to refer to it as a cook's tour. Right. When you were the lowest, like flying over Berlin at the end, you were there? We, we hit Berlin on Fe February 3rd. I was on the, the, the famous Dresden uh, uh, Warsaw 
bombing that actually destroyed Warsaw. Right. So can you see the people? How high? What's the lowest you ever no, were? No, what, when no, you were low, like no, what would be no. low for we you? Would, what would be low? We would fly between, it depends, the uh, aircraft were stacked uh, in, 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 in groups of 12. You, you would have three aircraft out in front, then there would be three aircraft above there, there would be three aircraft down below, and if you had four, you would be three, 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 and th stacked this way. So, and you would stack them so that the guns from both sides of, the, of, of an aircraft would have be able to fire at without hitting the other aircraft. Right. And um, as I said, we uh, we we flew, we flew uh, Berlin, Magdeburg, Merseburg, um all Western because I didn't get over there until, until December of uh, 44. So while you were shooting the guns, were you dropping bombs? There was other guys on guns too? Or what was... What was there, there's actually... Uh, there, there was a nose gun. Uh, a, a the gun. pilot controls the nose gun? Pardon me? Who controls the nose no, gun? No, the nose gunner. Oh, so there's somebody up front? Nose gunner would uh, would control the guns up front. It was a chin turret. It was two, 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 two fifty caliber uh, machine guns under the nose. That, that he would shoot, and then there were two up top that the the flight engineer would uh, would uh, uh, would operate from. The radio operator had gun turrets, guns, uh, a gun, a single gun up at the top of his tur his radio room. Right. There was the ball gun, and then you had a, a gunner on each side and the tail guns. So uh, and the. Uh, and, and of course, there was a, uh, a, a the uh, bombardier also had a gun up in the nose next to the the uh, so actually there were ten a crew of ten. There was a pilot and a co-pilot and a navigator and bombardier and six gunners. 